So now let's see how we can work with shapes in design mode inside of Pixlr E. So in order to work with shapes in design mode on the left side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into the shape tool. So once I click on shape, you can see on the top, you have the design or draw mode right here. So in this video, we're going to focus on the design mode. And in the design mode, what happens is that you got a bunch of choices, as you can see, like rectangles. So if I were to click on it and click and drag it, you can see that I can design some shapes. And as I design shapes right here, as I click and drag it, new new shapes are added in. You can go around over here into rounded rectangle as well, click and drag and a shape is added in. But in rounded, rounded rectangle, you can see that radius is added on top, which allows you to work around with the radius of the shape as well. And then you have the circle, so you can click here. And as you, you are selecting a shape, you can click on circle. And what happens is that the design gets applied onto that particular shape. And then you have custom right here. So let's just go around right here. And on to custom, you can see that now once I click on it, you have an additional shape right here. So you can go around into shape and then choose the shape you want just like this. And what you have is this. So you have different shapes that you can apply over here. You can click outside now. So you also have line as a shape. So you can go around, click and drag the line. And if you were to increase the size of the line, you can see that the size is added in. You can choose the color of the line as well. So all of them are made in different layer. You can go around, you can rotate these things around, you can resize this out, you can hold shift to actually squeeze it out into different aspect ratio and so forth. You also have option to duplicate this as you can see and keep it somewhere else. So on the top, you can see that there's different things like there's line, there's uh, custom and so forth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to custom, let's say for example, bring in a shape. So let's just go around right here and bring in a shape this like, uh, let's say for example, this one. And if I were to click and drag this, then this is what you have. This is a shape you have. You can go around into fill and if you were to go around and select different uh, color, you can apply that. You can choose the color you want, choose the shade of the color you want as well. And once you do that, uh, you have this. You can also go to and uh, take an eye picker. And if you were to click somewhere, it'll take that color as a reference. So you can go around over here and that is how you can work around with it. So let me just close this. And another thing that you can do is you can on the fill, you can also apply gradient to this, as you can see uh, for different effect. You can also apply radial gradient. So what I'm going to do is uh, the, this is the gradient I have. Let me just uh, change the color. So black is going to be on that side and red is going to be on this side. As you can see, let me just go around and change this. And over here, let me just uh, go around, delete that. There you go. There's the red. I can change the color and this is how it actually looks. You can also add in pattern if you want to. So you can choose the pattern you like. And that is how the pattern is applied. You can change the direction of the pattern. We can scale the pattern and so forth. So let me just add in gradient on in this one and then change this into a radial gradient just like this. So this is what you have. So now this is the shape as you can see. So what else you can do is you can add style to it. You can add an outline to this. You can increase the uh, line size of the outline as you can see, and then go around right here. Choose the color of the outline as well. You can go around and then enable the shadow. You can choose the color just like this of the shadow as well. So let me just go around into black shadow. You can increase the blurriness of the shadow or decrease the blurriness of the shadow as well. And this is how you can make a custom shape with a lot of effects if you want to as well to give it more like a, an in-depth 3D look as well. You can duplicate out the shape, of course, and you can delete out the shape as well. And that is how you can work around with shapes in design mode inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.